Roy Oppenheim here uh, from the trenches. People have always asked me, you know, it's important that, as a business person, you know, should you have employment agreements? And the answer is, you know, you're at, Florida is not will state, and technically you don't legally need to have an employment agreement. But when things are going well, you certainly don't need an employment agreement. It, it, the employment agreement only comes into play when there are problems, when there are issues. And so sometimes you want to make clear to your employees uh, what you, their expe your expectations are, what their obligations are, and to make sure that there's no misunderstanding. And typically that could come into case in, into play if they're going to try and compete with you, if they're going to try and take clients from you, if they're going to try and take confidential information from you. Um, and while now uh, confidential, excuse me, non-compete agreements are becoming uh, less enforceable both in, in, in Florida and around the country, you still don't want someone taking information from you, stealing information from you, using stuff that you've developed, that's been developed on your dime uh, to a competitor. And so it's important always to have an employment agreements and, and also for people to understand what their obligations are and what your obligations are to your employee. Any further questions? Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches. Thank you.